Mm, only on to our cameras caught it all. A clash and police take down near the Trump star and the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Violence has once again erupted near the Walk of Fame star. CBS 2's Greg Mills is live in Hollywood with more on what happened. Greg. Yeah, Peter, violence a uh, second time in four days now. There was a fight here on Thursday night. Another fight right outside this uh, star here tonight. Another wild night on Hollywood Boulevard. This guy in the burgundy shirt charges in and gets into it with LAPD officers. They wrestle him to the ground and end up arresting him. Second time in four nights, there's been a fight at the vandalized Donald Trump star on Hollywood Boulevard. This cell phone video given to TMZ shows a guy hammering away at the Trump star last week. He later turned himself in to police. This is Thursday night. No arrest in this fight but a big brawl in front of the businesses on this stretch of Hollywood Boulevard. You got America great again. Tonight, this man with a megaphone might share the same political view as the avid group of Trump supporters here, but this Trump group said he is not one of theirs, and his red Make America Great Again hat was the target of someone in this crowd. He came up, he was like, I'm going to pull off his hat, and I was like... I'm like, uh. And then he went off and he pulled the Make America Great hat again off. And then after that, everything just went crazy. They started fighting. The kid's father came and said, hey, that's my son. Don't be going after my son. Got up and started pushing him. And the guy with the megaphone headbutted him. A cut on his nose was the result. He hit him. He hit him. He hit him. People here indicated, but we couldn't confirm, this guy in the burgundy shirt is his son. And he charged toward police. They took him down and arrested him. Now, police told me that another man was uh, involved in this, but he ran off. But they said they know who he is, and they will take him into custody. Reporting live from Hollywood, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.